Hey guys, welcome back to the Straps and Chains YouTube channel. I got a little, little special episode video for you today. Uh, we're at the bunkhouse. Uh, we made it to the bunkhouse. Uh, here picking up our RGN trailer. Also, um, I got a little video about me uh, getting the RGN trailer and uh, uh, learning how to operate my RGN trailer. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Also, uh, our maintenance guy, Bruce, um, he's the one that's going to be giving me a little training crash course on how to do it. But, um, which I will use for future purposes to make sure I don't forget how to do it. Evidently, there's a lot of steps in doing it. But anyway, uh, also I have uh, a little interview with one of our drivers. His name's Chris. He's also a, a, a subscriber. Uh, anyway, yeah, he's explaining about Valley Transportation, how much he enjoys working here. Uh, he also got a new truck today, and he picked up his new RGN trailer today. Um... Anywho, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys. Um, I think that's it. Um, anywho, I hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, on with the video. RGN trailer that I got that's funny man as I filmed a whole bunch of stuff yesterday and somehow last night when I went to edit it I either deleted it or I lost it I don't know what I, what happened but I'm gonna have to film it all over again anyway I'm gonna show you what we got here this is our new RGN trailer I actually found out last night that uh, a Peyton one of uh, another, another subscriber and I got another guy works for Valley this was his old trailer Check it out. Got the chrome hubs on it. All aluminum. Got the chrome weights on the back. Actually, Peyton put all this stuff here on there. These strap strap holders. Anywho, this is my new RGN trailer. Uh, today at 8:45, Bruce, our maintenance guy, is supposed to come over here. I'm gonna show you in a minute this uh, tr uh, excavator we got to load up today. He's gonna show me how to operate this RGN trailer, which I've never done before. I know a little bit about how to do it, but this whole piece here, this piece here all the way down to here, disconnects from this. And then you just, this right here lowers to the ground and you just drive it up on there and then you attach it back because this stays connected to the tractor I'll show you well I mean I'm gonna video it so I'll have it for future reference so I don't mess nothing up when I'm out there on the on the road by myself uh, but I got another subscriber Chris uh, by the way what's up Chris um, I interviewed him yesterday too and lost all that footage I'm gonna have to try to get another interview with him um, but anywho, I'm gonna go walk up here and show you this excavator we're gonna load up. Anyway, I got my truck washed yesterday. It looks all shiny up, shined up. I think I'm gonna get my towel out, and wipe some of these streaks off of it. But anywho, we got a bunch of drivers out here. Anyway. This is the new RGN trailer. Had it cleaned up yesterday along with my tractor. But, I guess I'm gonna walk over here and show you this, uh, this excavator we're gonna load up. And then we'll see you here in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you this excavator we're gonna get loaded up here. Uh, this is it right here. 
Uh, we got a 135G. It's not a wide load. It's not over oversized. We're gonna take it to Lincoln, Nebraska. And that's it. That is it. Anywho, uh, we got a safety meeting at 845 over here at the driver's lounge. And uh, and then we're gonna, uh, Bruce is gonna show me this RGN shit. Anyway, we'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Hey I'll guys, next I got three dri- oh, I didn't know that. I got three drivers here I'm gonna fix the interview. They're gonna tell you about, about Valley, how much they like it. Like I was telling you, man, it's a good company to work for. I got no complaints. We're gonna see what these guys got to say. All right, Chris, on, James. James, Blake. Blake. There you go, man, y'all go ahead. Man, I love Valley, man, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a really family-oriented company, you know what I mean? They, they treat you nice, they don't, they don't treat you as a number. You know Speak it up, man, they can't hear you. They can't hear me? They don't treat you. <laughs> they don't, they don't. I ain't no, I ain't fancy, man. I ain't got these big mics and shit. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they, they treat you right. You know what I mean? They, they, they uh, your name. You know what I mean? Not a number. You know exactly. You know, exactly. From the first day I got here, you know what I mean? It's all been, been love. You know I mean? I'm enjoying myself. You know what I mean? I ain't been driving. I've been driving probably almost two years. So, you know what I mean? I, I think I'm going to be here for a little bit. Pretty oh, I will be. I'll be here for the duration, man. Yeah, it'll be here I'll probably be here until I retire. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look what we get to drive, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, right. I mean, look. I mean, all of them. All of them. I mean, look what we get to drive. Shit. Yeah, y'all Y'all want to come to a company. You've never done anything. I hauled Reaper and dry van. And, uh, That's me. I went I a mean, van for 10 years, man. You came know, here. And you get to come out here. You get the experience. All these other companies. Oh, you got to have all this experience to haul equipment oversized. So they train you. train you. Exactly. Uh, you don't have a trainer in the truck to get trained. It's all... Send they train you here, yep. tell you what to do, and, and then send you out. Send, send right. the pictures in, make sure you're secured right, hit the road. That's right. And if they don't do that, I'll tell you what else they'll do. They'll, you'll get a phone call saying, hey, by the way, I just looked at your pictures, yeah. and you need to change this and this. Uh -huh. Or you're good to go. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Great I've job. actually got a, uh, I actually just got through hauling a trailer stack, first trailer stack ever. Oh, uh, worth PJ? Uh, no, out of Sumner Load Trailers. Load Trail. Load Trail, okay. So... I just delivered that yesterday, and I, I came here I with said, a lot of trailers. Yeah, I picked it up out of Texas and brought yep. it over here to Iowa. And I sent Bruce, I called Bruce, who's our securement guy, and I said, "Hey, Bruce, I need to know where I put these strap checks because trailers are preloaded." So what he did is he emailed me pictures right. of where the straps would need to be, and I did close to what he did. If you watched my videos, you would have known. Because it's, it's on there, man. It's on there. The only thing I'm only on is, is Facebook catching up with family and friends. Yeah. Other than that, I'm the same way, man. I'm driving that purple truck right there, 1739. Okay. I love that truck. Yeah, man, me too, man. When I got here, I was in a 1735, and then did van for the first year you know when i got here because i did van for 10 years before i came here right, exactly. and they called me up said you want to do step deck i was yeah. like yeah man right, we'll get the new truck and the trailer i said okay cool we'll see in mine i did reefer for over three okay drive in for a year and a half so i've got over two two years experience but prior to that i've got over four years of hauling equipment okay. through a rental company locally back home right okay where's back home Texas. Texas. Are you Texas boys, man. You're everywhere. Hey, no, <laughs> <laughs> nah, ain't wrong, wrong. I like Texas as a state. I just don't like going into Texas, man. The drivers out there depends are crazy. On, depends on where you go, actually. Yeah. Southern Texas, man. I hate Southern Texas. Yeah, that one's not bad. I mean, I don't hate the te the state. It's the drivers what I don't like. Because they're idiots, man. Yeah. They're idiots. Some of them go to North Carolina. Idiots, yeah. yeah. Go to North Carolina. I got family out there, too, man. I got family everywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Georgia, Alabama, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. I live in Arizona, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, man. Well, there you go, man. They like the company. It's a good company to work for. I mean, I mean, we don't get micromanaged, right? No, no, no. no. There you go, right there. I don't know if any of you guys have. Uh, my dispatcher talked to me yesterday, but who's your fleet managers? BJ. I got BJ to D. Tell you about the new yeah. Kings of the Concrete. Yeah, Hell yeah, buddy. Yeah. I got. Uh, and we're fixing to get decals. As long yeah. as you get ten for the first month, and we'll get our decals for our truck. Yeah. I got Tyler Hoffman, so. Okay, okay. Hey, here comes one of the 11 action boys right here. Yep. So you can, you're going to have to video that. Oh, I will. <laughs> That's about like two chains. If he's 11, he's 11, right? He's 11 now. Back he was back, 9, and he's 11 back, now. Back, I'm about to take an 11 axle 
all the way to South Dakota. Okay. So you get the experience pulling it. Yeah. Okay. Go. Cool. clean there. Hell yeah, it's clean. Yeah, they got a wash bay here, man. You know what I mean? You pull in right there. You got to get you cleaned up. You know what I mean? I want you showing up at the, that the customer is clean. Yeah, it's a clean truck. Nine action. All right, guys. Yes, sir. You guys be safe out there, man. Yes, sir. You take you later, man. All right. Yep. Anyway, there you go, man. I told you, Valley's a good company to work for. You guys come on out, man. You know, watch my videos. Uh, if you come to the company, use my name as a referral. Ronald W. Jordan. Ron Jordan. They know me here. Uh, use my name. And then I'm going to do a little <laughs> filming with Bruce, our maintenance guy, about, like I told you, uh, learning how to do this RGN. And then that'll be it. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. you Disconnecting the electrical line and the two airlines from the gooseneck to the trailer. Right here, I'm pulling off the two collars that's connecting the gooseneck to the trailer. Right here, I'm pulling the pin that locks the gooseneck to the trailer. See that? But if you try pulling it up, you can't do it. You gotta pull it straight out because there's a lock on the upward too. It's already out. There's a lock on the pin right here. Okay, that pulls that pin out. So now you can go ahead and back under it again. All right, next step is to back, back up under the gooseneck. Also, just so you know, the airbags are still dumped. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do here is grab my block and set it between the rails on the tractor frame and the rails on the gooseneck and have about a half to three quarters of an inch of gap from the top of the wood to the top of the gooseneck. Okay, right here I'm going to air my airbags back up and then I got to go back and make sure and check my wood, my block, make sure it doesn't slide out. And then you got to check your block and make sure it doesn't wiggle, make sure it's good and tight. guys that that jerk that it did is supposed to do that because my airbags were airing up and it's rotating on its axis so it, it, it settles Okay guys, now I'm just going to pull away 
away from it, it should just pull right away with the gooseneck attached to my tractor. And when you pull away, you got to make sure to pull away far enough so you, whatever piece of equipment you're putting on the trailer, it has enough room to get up on top of the trailer and your tractor's not in the way. One thing right here is you want to go ahead and make sure to release your pin pull that chain and push it back in that way when the time comes the pin can release and then from here guys you just put the piece of equipment on either you put it on or have the people who's going to do it put it on and chain her down and then do the reverse sequence of what you did by taking it apart. Okay, right here, you back back into the trailer until your gooseneck hits the trailer and the pin goes back in place. It should go right back inside. Okay, next step is you dump the air and then you jump out and go back and pull the fifth wheel pull. So release the fifth wheel on the tractor real quick. Okay, next you go and pull your block out from between the tractor and the gooseneck. Okay guys, next step, you get back in the truck and then you go ahead and pull away from the trailer so the trailer drops to the ground. That way you can put your collars back on and hook your lines back up. Remember what I said guys, do it in the opposite sequence. So go on the far side and work your way back to the lines and hook those back up last. And watch those collars. They will pinch your fingers and it does hurt. And more than likely you will need a hammer to put them collars back in place. I got lucky, my collar sleeves were already disconnected from the chains so I could use the other one from the other side and knock it in the first one in place. Then you put your pins back in the collar and put the collar pins back in the pin. I got lucky right here the second one actually slid right into place. I didn't need a hammer for that one. Okay, right here I'm connecting my air lines back up and my electrical line. Also, remember guys, when you're doing this, don't let nobody come up, walk up and try to talk to you. You tell them to hold on a minute because you will lose track of what you're doing and maybe forget something. So tell them just hang on, let me finish this and I'll talk to you when I'm done. You will forget something. Okay guys, next step is to back back up under the gooseneck. And as you see that edge of that gooseneck start to rise up, go ahead and fill your airbags back up with air and continue backing up. If you're loaded, it's going to be tough, so give it some goose. Give it some fuel. As you see, I'm having trouble with it because it's, I got a heavy load on there. You know, right here I thought something was wrong, but that's the way it is. You really got to get up under it and get going because it's heavy. 
Just try your best not to slam that fifth wheel in place. It's going to be hard, but try your best. Then of course, final step, go ahead and connect your air lines and your electrical lines from your tractor to your gooseneck. Of course, barge in, eh, a little different tie down spots, as you see across the chains, tie down spot there, tie down spot there. And on the RGN, you got these spots here for chain. You put chains inside there and they lock in place. You got D hooks. Uh, have D hooks right here at the, at the base of the, the back of the uh, gooseneck. <laughs> Duh, gooseneck. All right, these things here called outriggers they slide out. I'll show you. You lift them up and they slide out like this right here. Now they slide out and what i do is when i slide all these out if i'm going to get like a combine or a big wide load i take these right here these pieces of wood right here and i pull uh, pull all these right here down through there all the way out like i did that one and i lay the board on there you know lay the board across here that way everything it has support you know everything has support for the bolt on top of the boards you sit it right on top of there anyway and when i chain here excuse me huh, about fell over here uh see this spot right here it's got this is like support for my hook so whenever i do hook it on the side i can hook on the side here but if i hook here the hook's subject to slide like this. You know, it'll slide. But if you see, I got this right here, where these outriggers are. And that hook hits up against that outrigger and it won't go anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's the reason why I hook it right here. I can do that on here and all the way down through the trailer on here, as you can see where it's been hooked before. See, like this spot right here. You know, this spot right here, all the way down the trailer. But anyway, the outrigger, to get them back, you raise them up and you slide them in. And they fall back in place and they don't go anywhere. And of course, I had to put my, my, my exhaust sock on there, you know, tie it down. Uh, and this front, kind of tough on the front because it's got this blade on the front here. If the blade wasn't there, I could tie down here. See these spots down inside inside here? It's got them on both sides, right beside the tracks. So of course, this is another tie down spot here. See, see right here, hook? It's tied here and come down and tie it right here up against this, this outrigger. That way it don't go anywhere. It's on both sides like that. And of course I had to, you know, the boom, I, I could put a strap on there, but I chose to put a chain. And you know, of course, put a pad on it. Right here, you gotta put a pad. I do anyway, because if I don't put a pad, chain will rub the paint off, which makes sense. Logics and uh, common sense tell you that. <laughs> so of course, I got this one right here against this outrigger, you know, this, this post. These are here are my combine blocks. So if the combine doesn't have wheels on it, they can, the hubs can sit on top of those. You know, four, four hubs, four blocks, of course. Uh, makes sense, you know. You know, I have hookups here, D-hooks here, 
have D hooks here, D hooks here, have D hooks here. Yep, D hooks there. These right here at the rear, this plug, that's for my ambers, my strobes. And I got, of course, I got another one here because I have two strobes. I put my ambers right here, my strobes right here. They got magnet magnets on them. They were supposed to put me two round plates right here. They didn't do it because uh, my ambers and my strobes were round. They got magnets on the bottom. It just magnetics to it. But of course, it's wood. You can't do that. So I got to put them on this metal. And this trailer, I found out, this trailer was actually Peyton's. Uh, one of my subscribers and one of the guys that if you watch my videos, you saw I was running with him for a little while. By the way, what's up, Peyton? Love the trailer, buddy. Anyway, I showed you all this here, I'm pretty sure. Got the chrome on the mud flaps. Chrome, chrome mud flap weights. D hook. But I think I pretty much got it. Uh, I got a sheet from Bruce. Uh, I'm sure you heard Bruce talking. You may not have seen him in the video because he didn't want to be videoed. Um, yeah, I mean, he gave me a sheet. It's step-by-step -step instructions, so I can't mess it up. Um, I just want to show you this, though. This oh, by the way, thanks, Peyton, for putting these. Peyton put these on here. This was his old trailer. I think I might have said that already, but he put that on to hold my banner, so I ain't got to keep taking my banner on and off. Uh, the old banner that was on here was all ripped up on the corner, so I put mine on there and rebolted it in. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm fixing to go inside, give me a little bite to eat, uh, maybe take a shower, and then start putting my stuff in the truck, all my food. I've already went to Walmart and got all my stuff. Uh, more food so I can stay out a little longer and instead of going home right away. Um, and I got all my clothes washed up, so I'm good for... I'm good for another three or four weeks for clothes. I keep enough clothes in my truck to like, last a month or so. Anywho, I'm gonna call that a wrap. That'll probably be the end of this video. I'll just post this little, not post, but uh, I'll just edit this little video here. It might be too small, but it's smaller than normal. Like I said before, these videos are gonna be different than before. I'm gonna try to show more loading because I can, for the most part, I could probably drive a lot of this stuff up on here myself and take it off myself. Uh, you might have some head cam stuff while I'm pulling it off, maybe. Um, but I'll just try to get some video with get, getting loaded or unloaded or me detaching. And then once so, I, that'll be it. That's like I said at the end of the video. And as always, you guys stay safe out there. Toodaloo. Well, I hope this video helped out in any way to some people who maybe needed help like I did or just learning like me. So, I hope you really enjoyed this video.
All right, guys, I hope this video helps some people. Uh, that's why I did it, to help me to look back on, but I really hope it helps other people.